Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Mario Maths and uh, today I want to talk about something important and that is uh, that I am uh, I'm going to file a withdrawal from NGIT so I'm not going to go to any more classes I'm gonna quit I'm gonna drop out of college and um, well there are many reasons for why I decided to you know take this course of action and pretty much you know the main reason is one, this college, you know, um, education is just, the, the, you know, the idea of going to college for what they say, a better future or a high paying job, I think is too cliche. And this has even been more highlighted when the pandemic just started. When the pandemic started, all classes went online. Professors started teaching online. Students have low engagement in courses. Uh, students are more encouraged to cheat on exams, cheat on homework, because they're just not engaged. They're, they don't, a large portion of students don't care about these courses anymore. I was doing pretty well academically. I think um, I had a, total GPA of 3.59 but I think um, you know I've been thinking about dropping out for a while now because if you think about it the the value of, uh, of a college degree nowadays has reduced significantly it's not the same as going to college in the in the 50s 60s I don't know 70s because back then, technology was not so accessible. People couldn't have access to the web because there was no web <laughs> until 1999, I think, when um, the World Wide Web came about. And so it's kind of absurd to, you know, pay tens of thousands of dollars to an institution to tell you or to teach you, uh, you know, some like, qualifications or like subjects that um, you know have content that can be found online it's free you, you you don't have to pay for it online you can learn from it you can teach yourself so ultimately what you're paying for is just uh, a piece of paper that tells you tells the employer whoever is going to be that you are qualified to work for whatever major you chose to work for to study and so I think it's pointless. It's pointless to to pay for a piece of paper when it doesn't really reflect what you actually are capable to do. I think the future is gonna be different and the future is going to be willing to ignore college degrees and papers like that, diplomas. They're going to ignore diplomas and they're going to look at what skills you have and what you can do for the companies or whatever um, you know, endeavors they they plan on doing. So I think uh, you know the college experience overall is is fun when there is no pandemic. You know when you can actually go and meet other people. But when you have to go online and just sit in front of a computer to listen to somebody talking about some trivial facts that can be found on the web, it's just pointless. I had to take a $12,000 loan for my freshman year because, well, I couldn't get enough scholarships. I applied to many of them, hundreds of scholarships, and I, I, I Barely got any. I applied to the Dorman Honors College at NGIT, which you know can uh, increase the likelihood that you could get a scholarship and uh, pay less because you know that'll be much more worth it if you, if it was you know less expensive. And I got rejected. In part of that uh, is because you know the pandemic in, you know significantly affected NGIT's. Um, budget, so they had to cut a lot of budget. I think it was a hundred billion dollars 
I don't know why it's so much money. I mean, an average student has to pay around uh, $24,000 per year. So, uh, they, they do get quite a bit of money, but you know, now that a lot of international students are not coming because of COVID-19, then they have cut a lot of uh, budget. And so students who could have easily gotten into the honors college and gotten a scholarship, most likely a full ride because usually um, the honors college provides with a you know pretty pretty a nice um, financial uh, aid. But uh, you know this this semester not it's not the, it's not the case. And I think I made the mistake of actually taking courses this semester instead of already quitting before it started. I was thinking about doing it at the beginning of the semester, but I just didn't do it because I was pressured to do it by other people, which was a mistake to, to follow that. And now I am in debt with about $24,000 in loans that I will have to pay which is, uh, you know, pretty disappointing. It would imagine how much more it would have been if I kept going for the next three years. It would be way too much. It's just unreasonable to pay so much for so little in return. Oh yeah, some people say, okay, no, but you're gonna have to get a high paying job when you, when you get a, your degree or whatever. When is that going to be, in four years? when I owe like 60 or 100K to the university and to the state, it's not worth it. And once I withdraw, I'm going to have to start paying for those loans. So I'm gonna to have to look for something else to do. I still like mathematics, I like physics, and I plan on continue studying it on my own. Even though I won't get uh, any paper that will tell me that, oh, I know physics or mathematics. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.